Save Delight 2 or the first in this series. I hope I can get them all in one, so not that much info. I'm just going to plow through these because this has been dragging on forever and I need to get on to some new things. Uh, we're playing the Mons Venerous tape that came out on Senior Dex, I think, maybe, no, probably not a year ago right now, but you know, some time ago. 93, which makes me think it's limited to 100. But yeah. Portuguese stalwarts. Let's go. The first thing I have here in my bin are two envelopes. One is Turia and one is Freustax. Uh It came with this handy uh, booklet, which is from Eisentum Records. Um, Eisen Tribute 1, Harbinger of Finest Dark Arts, Autumn XX1. So there you go. Um, what this is, is the same deal as with the Mahavantara from last video. Um, the, this label is producing the vinyl records for the uh, Aresis Novio Magi stuff, so this is the first page, for example, is Iskander with various So it's basically a zine promo for the label, uh, but yeah, they are doing the CD and the vinyl version. There's also Alda in here, if I'm not mistaken, Alda, I don't know the band Alda, but I don't know. And then the last one is um, uh, Tardi Grada. They had a record some time ago, more than a year ago, uh, on Final Agony, one of the, maybe not mid-period, but mid to late periods, uh, which I remember was quite good, I never got it, but um, it kind of had the same cover feel as this, but then more a castle or something like it, it's been too long, but it's good to see they're still around, and they're doing the CD, vinyl, and audio cassette for this. Agalog reissues, and there's stuff, Dakma, which should be good to second full length so yeah looking forward to that one great little zine promo booklets whatever let's start here uh Fleuschreis. this is the uh yeah haresis novio magi tape version of this one I'm not sure who did the final maybe them too came with this button and Fleuschreis. yeah i just got it because i'm in love with the label uh the band, I, I'm not really into it at this moment, but that is just because I haven't been listening to it a bunch. I've listened to Bloom. Uh, I think I like this one a bit more. It, it seems that this one is a bit um, raw, if you will. Um, they both come with this nice booklet. The presentation of these are always, you know, on point. They make sure it's a nice little tape package. It's unhandy to have it all in an envelope. The tape itself is this one, another Rizzo print. Like I said, Fleusgras with the Grepen door the Geest der Zielsontleuking. Grabbed by the spirit of the. I don't know what Zielsontleuking means in English. Uh, nice Rizzo printed cards. A very musical take on the black metal drawn. I don't think it's uh, something for everybody but yeah orange tape with the logo and the title on there so yeah i have to give this another spin to fully appreciate it i think then iskander one of the bands from o i think uh from omar i think it's him and then a drummer it has a double p button no that's a double sword I was thinking about another tape that's coming up. Um, this one has a bit more. It has a card, Walking Devil by Haresis. There you go. Then a Turia sticker, which is their main band, if you will. A Iskander double key sticker. And this is called Obscure Heat and Black Metal. That's what's on the sticker. That's not what the tape is called. Also comes with a booklet about a nature worship. Lyrics. And a window. Uh, the tape itself is Black Flags, uh, and this is the one that is coming out. It's called Vergezicht, so yeah, white vision. I don't know. Not everything needs to be translated. There we go. Once again, nice Rizzo printed J cards, and the man himself standing between the ruins. So yeah, two new tapes from that label. 
Well, the, uh, the Iskelmer is my favorite for now. Yes, where to begin? Let's just go from the back to the front, I guess. This is basically um, a tape order I did through um, Crypt of the Wizards. Uh, this was in the package and we're going to have a talk, but you know, life gets in the way as usual in these. Uh, these are two tapes on Albion Command Regiment, uh, and these are the bulk of the Eternal Tyrant tapes. Uh, Self-released, basically through, I think, their label, because they popped up and they disappeared. One is called Take the Sword, this is the, I think, the second demo. The first demo was on, um, then, on Spiritual Disease uh, from America, if I'm not mistaken, and it seems that this is an English or, you know, a... Uh, yeah, from England or from the region of England band. There's not much known. Um, musically, it's uh, uh, yeah, 90s take on the more more hateful stuff uh, came out like Moonblood or Temple of the Full Moon, Blazebird Hall. That, but it has a certain. It is its own thing. It's not just a blatant copy of what's going on or what was going on there. Um, hand copied J cards there you go uh, and like I said the um, the demo on spiritual disease was a dungeon synth uh, record so yeah recorded in the dark past no contact fuck off so, yeah. I have no idea what the limitation is Charlie uh, I saw them the, someone was talking about them the day they went up uh, on crypt of the wizard and I just I um, directly put in my order because I knew these were going to disappear. This is the second one and it's called The Horns Sang for War. So it's battle filled. Uh, the samples are also very, you know, medieval uh, night stuff. And they both have the same theme going on. This one is a black tape. There you go. But yeah, if you are into that mid 90s German, Russian stuff, um, track these down these are very good and like I said on Albion command regiments the second batch of those tapes uh, I got two out of the tree because one was sold out one was a slave cut something 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 uh, this is on fallow field which is a label I uh, need to do a uh, video about because I have a lot of their stuff and it's all gold this is Jaeger, I think, uh, one of the Danish bands. Uh, it has some caveman slaying a mammoth on the cover, and that's basically what it sounds like. It is uh, yeah, a bit of an unrelenting demo. Um, I think the it's recorded at Mayhem in 2020, April 29th, and I think it's the usual suspects, if I'm not mistaken. There's not much info on there. And pasted tape. But yeah, a very good one. And it's weird to see it pop up on fellow fields, although, you know, they do a lot or they have a lot of reach in their catalog. But the tape I wanted to talk about is this one, the Occulted Dead Stance with, um, where's the title? Strength and Chaos. There you go. This is the fifth of the, or the sixth demo from this um, band, if you will. It is some very nice artwork on there. There we go. And it's, it's been described as the more uh, listenable or, you know, clear um, take on this band or, or what, what they bring because it's quite chaotic in some parts. In the other tapes, I haven't listened to them all. I just went one back to see what the difference is between the fifth and the sixth or something like that. This has 80s influences. It has straight up 90s black metal in there. It even has some flipper and some some 80s hardcore stuff going on so it is a big fox that is being stirred stirred by uh, the occulted dead stance folks but um it works this is a very good and very listenable tape this is basically the cover the others are um this is the logo um it is on aska or is closely connected to aska so i think they are from england how did I get to that because I added the stick oh, yeah. there you go ask it and fellow fields so yeah recommend it um, I'm not sure if it's still available I probably somewhere in some distro because 
I haven't heard a lot of people talk talking about these guys, and especially since it's their sixth, fifth or sixth uh, demo, if you will. So yeah, check that out if you're into you know everything I just said. Um, it's kind of weird to go from flipper to uh, to nineties black and then some weird maybe industrial 80s but um yeah 80s noir but yeah, this is a very good tape i'll put that stand then keep plowing through here we go talked about this one already it was the uh tape that made me erase a video uh this is the humner with travel through the nights diabolical on uh, the mighty black uh, gangrene and there you go black plague circle from bosnia um business card black and green they had a, I have a split with Dravarna or, or Dravarna or something like it um, the names with all the points on top um, they are plenty but uh, I really enjoyed that tape this is uh, more of a chaotic take on uh, black metal it is yeah it's very chaotic maybe the vocals that kind of do this howly thing uh, or the scree not screechy but more Put you on on uh, yeah. Put some unease into your into your spine or something like it. Um, yeah, cool tape. It uh, sound wise, it's if you have heard the Vreta Vrak, the two last ones, the um, Dominion of Terror, I think. Um, sound wise, it's stepped up a notch production wise. This one too, I don't fully remember the sound on the split, but it's very audible, very clear. So it seems they are on the path to you know have some audio uh, instead of the noise which is also very good then one that i i'm not even sure where i got this from cultus calignus uh, a new cult if you will from the states that are linked to i'm not sure there are other bands but i'm not sure if i can recall what it was uh very young troop or very new band of fiends uh i think the tape was done through nuclear or the the final version was done through nuclear war now um yeah garmin licht there's not much info on here the self-titled i think um but yeah this made the rounds a few months ago or maybe half a year by now because all these tapes are they have been around uh, for some time so some of them i heard fresh some of them i've it's been some time but yeah garmelicht and uh, it seems that some of these bands from america not stepped their game up but took it out of the raw um out of the raw scene a bit so <coughs> production kind of stepped up um Another US band, Borders Rope, for everybody who was sick of the uh, death metal on the channel. Sorry for this, but uh, yeah, it's basically, except for one, it's all, it's all black metal. Borders Rope on Nebular, Nebular Carcoma, um, just a continuation of his sounds. Um, I always compared it to, what was it? I'm blanking on it. Uh, Enthroned with the varnished oceanic welt. What a title. Uh, yeah, not crazy about the cover, but uh, I love the other one better with the black mirror. This is uh, yeah, just a continuation. I can't say that I listen to it too much, um, but I should, shouldn't I? Because Borda's Rope, it's it's kind of a guitar, jangly guitar driven. I remember from the, the earlier works. Um, so yeah. This is a newer EP from this year. There you go. Not much to say about it. What I do have to say, and I kind of compare it to Eternal Tyrant in some way, is the double X um, on Signal Hicks, and it's called Kill the Opposition. A uh, three piece from Philly that played alongside with the uh, Buffalo Mountia dudes and stuff like and other bands stuff like that and other bands um, not too long ago in LA and it seems like a very fun evening uh, double X is Axel Luke and Matthew this is limited to I don't know what it's limited to but it's copy four or something like that. there you go so yeah um, is there anything on here in memory of the magician Simon Santana 
LAM continuity in this fight. So yeah, there are a few tapes in this batch dedicated to him, which is kind of normal. Um, a bit more audible than the Eternal Tyrant. Not nothing bad, uh, but this is you know recorded very well. I think uh, I think it's or I found it a bit weird that it was on uh, Signal X, but it, you know it works. They picked it up, so um, yeah. Uh, once again, '90s inspired German Polish. Uh, yeah, just very good synth integration and a you know a tape that leaves us wanting more. I'll put it on because the other one is done. Careful, careful. So yeah, we're listening to the Lux right now. Um, the only dead metal tape I have in here for now is the Exhumed Information by Pulci. Uh, the full cheap worship death metal band from Italy that had a record out last year that I'm completely blanking on the title, which was very good. Um, very cliched, not reinventing the wheel at all, but you know, just some good stuff. Um, this is their continuation of that 80s inspired horror artwork. Nice pink lyric sheet. Uh, the tape is actually very nice. It's on what is the label? TV Crimes Fulci Time to Kill is a label. So it has this vellum cover that then holds the card, which, you know, nicely done. Um, more of a continuation of the previous record. The only thing here is that it has some, um, how should I say it? It has some almost soundtrack music instead of the, the death metal they are known for so there are not there are 10 tracks on here but some of them are they're very short and some of them are you know more soundtrack-esque if you will but yeah that's it um then two from the garde noire from france the ooh, bref i think and mature audience Got these from the guy in a trade or that I buy records from him. Yeah, I think I bought the Gold Feet and something else and he just added these. This one first, Mature Audience with Wheelchair Love Affair. Um, it is kind of an ode to the LLL, I think, because of the wheelchair, but it is not black metal in the slightest. This is an older recording that is only now resurfaced from their noise period maybe or something like it or one of the guys was into noise uh, limits to 69 which should say something this is copy number six this is very not listenable if you will um, wheelchair love affair geriatrics passion convulsion intimate claustrophobia and conclusion so it's a very short tape but uh, yeah I'm glad he you know put it in because um, it's a different light on that on that scene or those guys on uh, Asylum, Asylum Tenebris. There you go. That's the first one. Like I said, it's uh, yeah, it's quite a trip. This is on YouTube, so I think you can check it out. Uh, there won't be any bookmarks in here because it's just too much. This came out on Alter, so a bit more professional, if you will. Um, standing J cards, very nice. Oh uh, yeah, these I've been following these guys since the very beginning, since. I got uh, the Mormo tape from this guy, um, been talking to them, good bunch, but yeah, crazy peoples. It's not, as per usual, there's not that much info, but yeah. They uh, they have a demo, uh, I'm blanking on the title right now, that came out on uh, Alter 2, which is still one of my favorites um, from them. And it will probably pop up in the um, end of the year. Then, first soil. Here you go. Helm of Saga. And what's the other one? Luminous Transfiction. I'll show the Luminous Transfiction first. Um, this is the cover. It is a perished soil slipcase. I have no idea how this sounds anymore. It's been so long since I heard this one. The only thing I know is that these are two tapes that are also dedicated to Lamb. Very nicely done tapes, uh, it is perished soil. I felt off a bit, I started 
following them because of Hamakuroi, actually. And they did Sanguine Relic, I think, the two first, and then it just got crossed, pop, 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 and now we are here. Um, but yeah, it's safe to say I, um, I'm not sure. It's raw black metal that I'm sure of, and I know the sound was actually pretty good, but um, it has been way too long. So yeah, this is going on next, just to remind myself. It's a bit of a long one. There are five tracks on here, so should prove good. The one I played a bunch and that I loved is the Helm of Saga, the self-titled. The, is the double sword I was talking about. Love the logo. Uh, once again, a slipcase. <clears throat> this is a gold tape adorned with a, I don't know what that is called, some medieval flower sigil work, but it's done very beautiful the artwork on here very good sound it is it's not even raw black metal i think because it's the sound production is too good to still call it raw but i think by now raw is a genre on itself so why not uh yeah some medieval battle stuff weary from my battle of pain violence and loss mocking the atroph atrophal scene kept of a malign star and visions in dying embers at sill my forge all very medieval team stuff and then uh, Helm of Saga is Duel. This needless expression is dedicated to land, proudly alone in the riddled abyss of ours. Emblem and layout by KP on Perished Soil. This one is a recommendation out of that label on the later uh, later stuff this one uh, I can recommend. Um, there's a split with Undutsen, I think, but I'm not sure if that's Helm or Helm of Saga. It's coming in, so pretty curious about that one. Not sure if it's the same stuff. Then, one of my favorite tapes from this year out of America, the US BM scene is on fire right now. This is on Mistang Productions, and this is actually a weird trait. This is the Blutschwuch, I think it's called, with the Demonstration des Triumph, Demonstration des Triumph, if you will. A French title. I traded this uh, with the Blood Magic tape that I had traded with the same guy before or something. All right, yeah, I uh, traded it for the Ungfall tape. And then out of the blue, he contacted me and said he was, um, yeah, he he regretted it <laughs> immensely and if I wouldn't trade him back. And he had two things. He had an original Moonblood tape that was uh, it's Wiedergang, the guy on Instagram. He had a Blood Moon original that was a uh, wedding gift from his wife, so he couldn't trade, and then the Blut Schwuch. And I was looking to get the 10-inch um, on Oscar, but then, you know, he was willing to do it. Plus, I had the Blood Magic on vinyl at that time, so why not? It's his tape. It's a, it was a beautiful tape. I was looking back to the previous um, to the previous tape delay, and, you know, there it was. It's still beautiful, but yeah. Um, Keep the medieval team alive. This is also a very battlefield esque. The labels are all clanking swords. Uh, I don't know, it seems like America finally discovered the Middle Ages. Um, but yeah, very forceful, heavy, great tape actually. Um, listen to it a bunch. Black metal nobility, armored skinheads, severe the trope or sever the tropes of the weak. So yeah, it is. Um, it has a lot of grandeur, but recommend it. Um, the 10 inch is a colorful or a color rendition or some of something like this or this uh, image. But yeah, Blut Schwuch. Blood Oath, maybe? I think so. Then, one more. I got this from uh, a hate work trade, I think. Heron Makes Happy, Junkie Witch, and Drug Darkness. You know what it is, it is that weird synth Cylon stuff, uh, heroin makes happy. Heroin rette leben, 13 candles, and don't worry, be junky. So this is a bunch of labels, this is on Narventage also, yeah, it's a triple, triple release, split of those three bands, you know, the classic and then two newer-ish bands. <coughs> uh, yeah. Some more silent stuff and I did there's some more coming in. I said the last people more that I wouldn't be delving into this scene anymore, but I lied. Alas. What are we doing? 24, okay. 
maybe we can make it. Skin lift uh, with the 2020 demo or 2020 promo, I'm not sure. Well, not the tally, uh, got it straight from them when they had the Ayak. 12 inch up skin lift DO. Not sure what that stands for. Demo, maybe. Uh, it's a promo for the upcoming record, I think. Uh, it has three tracks. It is um, a bit more on the experimental black metal side. Not in comparison to not Velvet Underground Experimental, but for Natatale, which is mostly based on Punk, Stomp, Iljarn ish, uh, maybe some Dungeon Synth. I think this has a bit more influences in the mix, but worth checking out. Then, talking, talked about it at the um, Double X, this is Buffamontia with Promethean Fire 21. Um, their second output. Um, yeah, intro, some interludes, some outros, but a lot of tracks on here. Was waiting for this one a bit. This was going to come out on Medieval Prophecy Records first, but stuff happens, I guess, and then now it's put out by those guys themselves. Got it from them, uh, straight from America. Once again, an American band. Uh, big, strong, or take J cards. Love the cover. I am. Yeah, I think I like the the first offering better, but. Um, Still very good. Limited to 300, which is bold. Um, 236 I have. Uh, but yeah. There you go. Los Angeles. This is raw black metal crew, I could say. And they uh, they have an affinity with the older Southern American stuff. Uh, with them, a newer take or a 21st century take on that scene, if you will. Four more. This is. T plus or something like it with intransigence. There you go. The guy behind Cavern, uh, his post punk project, if you will, on Resilience Records. Weasel print J cards. Not that much info. Yeah, like I said, post post punk is maybe a bit rough. Uh, it's post punk folk ish. Um, there you go. Nice lyric, and it, it has that soaked in coffee feel that uh, a lot of his stuff has taped on. Uh, we're checking out if you're into his other projects. This is definitely something else, but um, you know, still very worth checking out. I just got it on a whim just because I was into Resilience. Then this one popped up. Three more, and I guess I saved the best for last. Crypt of Wallachia, once again from uh, Hate Work that I got it from. This is the demo one. I am looking out for demo two, which is on the horizon on Medieval Prophecy Records. This one is actually the last one I needed to complete the standard uh, lineup of that label. And this is one of the best bands, or one of the great bands on that label. Belgian band um, from the other side of the language barrier. Um, I'm not sure how the connections work, who is in what band, what is in, who is in what band, but uh, yeah. Crypts of Wallachia, one of the you know, Judas Iscariot, Moonblood Creek, Demon Sea, and Forced Devotees Beware. The first demo of Crypts will soon be available. This is the promo flyer that came with it, or that was handed out when it was coming out, I guess. Um, so, yeah, Jan, thank you very much for this one. I say standard because I don't have the OV strip, um, stuff like that, from Japan, if you will. Two more. This is Tirgul with the Victorious Star, a tape that I, I'm pretty sure it's broken because I've played so much. Second offering from them, uh, second demo, if you will, or second EP uh, on Skigereich Productions. Uh, you know who is behind this if you are into this channel because I talked to Dad about these guys. Spectre and Morden Van Uh This is basically a restart or the continuation of uh, Blood Tyrants. Um, but yeah, some very good synth integrated nine, early 90s, um, yeah, black metal, dungeon synths, whatever you will. It is Blood Tyrant taken out of the Shadow Kingdom and blasted into the Skigerai Kera. Yeah, very cool. Three more. 
Very cool duo, of course. Uh, it has three tracks on here, Skybound by Amethyst Storm Clouds, Sapphire Tears and Crossing the Rubicon. Artwork, insane, this should be the cover of the LP or something like it, because, yeah. Recorded in 2021, so, yeah. Great, great stuff. It's not Thanks to all the bands and individuals we're in contact with and have supported us throughout the years. Yeah, definite support to everything these guys are doing. Um, can't say enough about them. Last tape, and this is um, something that is, you know, yeah, on constant repeat. This is the Hell Confessor. I got this on a whim from uh, New Era. This is a Brazilian band. I got it because it's on Flaxon. It's a Brazilian band. Um, and it's consisting of members from Triumph, uh, an older Brazilian band that then had a new singer, and the singer is called Males, um, which works perfect for the music they are doing. It is fast, bulky, hard, black metal, uh, played in the old style, like I said, with uh, Bacalancia and an affiliation for uh, you know Southern American black metal, the old stuff like Sarcophago and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, a lot of stuff in here. I got this because the if you look up this band and then you look at the pictures of the members, one picture will stand out for sure. Um, so yeah, check it out. Comes with a lyric sheet. I don't think New Era still has them, but um, yeah, man. Incredible stuff. Double Ox started again, so I'm going to listen to that. And what did I promise myself I would listen to? Oh yeah, the Paris Soil stuff. So yeah, that's it. Um, hope you liked it. There is some more stuff coming, of course, but uh, also other things than just updates. So we'll see what the future brings. It's almost 2022, so we are going to delve into the uh, end of the year lists and stuff like that. Enough, enough, enough. We'll see each other soon. Peace.